We're down here at Seoul in downtown Willoughby. Uh, got rained out a little bit yesterday. There's slightly, uh, it was a monsoon. Uh, could have gone swimming in the gazebo. Yeah, it was, uh, it was this. And we were going to try to do this yesterday down here, visit some locations, show everyone what's going on. Now the patios are open in DTW. Uh, we waited until today. Um, smart move, I think. Yes. And uh, Beautiful day today. Yeah. Beautiful. So today we're at Seoul, downtown Willoughby. Mm-hmm. This is Chef Brett. Um, very talented chef down here. We want to talk about what Seoul's up to, what they're doing. Sure. What their plan is. Um, patio season's open right now for another week than the indoors. How are you guys handling the uh, outdoor part of it? How are we doing reservations, things of that nature? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so with the outdoor part of it, um, basically what we did, we, we were blessed enough to have a large enough patio to be, be able to distance the table six feet apart. So with that being said, most of our tables are four tops. Uh, they're all six feet apart. We're doing our best. I mean, this is new for everybody, so obviously it's a learning process as this goes along. Um, but, you know, uh, we've got certain arrows down to help control the flow on how people are entering the patio and how that they're exiting. Also, um, with our staff, you know, what they have to wear for their PPE gear and, and how to sanitize and flip over tables. Um, as of for reservations and stuff like that, we are not currently taking reservations. We, for one, do not want to feel our customers need to be rushed in or rushed out. So we're kind of treating this as a first come, first serve. Um, but the wonderful thing is, is we built an awesome to-go business at the same time of doing this. That I feel that if even if you can't get in here and you're like, ah, well, I can't get into Seoul or they're busy, you can still get some to-go food, bring it home, enjoy yourself, you know, stay safe and stay uh, stay healthy. So you could conceivably even eat Seoul in the parking lot if you really had to. I've seen it happen. <laughs> I do not confirm or deny these things, but uh, it's I, I think it's happened. So. Well, it looks like, I mean, right now it's uh, middle of the afternoon down here, and there's got a couple tables that are open. The cool thing about Seoul, very spread out, super, yes. super easy, so kind of naturally, you kind of feel like you're in the woods a little bit, and yep. when we're done here with Chef Brad, I'm going to do a quick little walk around and show everybody what's going on down here, but um, it's obviously, it's a challenging time, I mean, to figure out how to do this, but a lot of people are itching to get out, they want to go out, they want to eat, they want to have a couple cocktails, especially, it's 70 degrees out today, and it's kind of hard to not be on a patio. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've all been kind of cooped up, and you know, <laughs> it's it's and for me it's I've either been at the restaurant or been home so you know it's it's one of the two so it's even nice for me to come to the restaurant and actually see people here and really get along with that you know and, and have these interactions with our guests again and it's it, it's fantastic I think everybody just has to understand be patient you know understand that you know we went from being a restaurant that could seat over 200 people to a restaurant that seats 40. Right, you know, and we're trying to keep everybody healthy and, and have an enjoyable time at the same same time. So I think that's a key thing. Yeah. I mean, understand everybody. It's 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 challenging. So be patient with all your restaurants. Mm-hmm. Service isn't going to go as perfect as it may yeah. normally. They're they're adapting just like all of us. So it's it's important to have patience with everybody as we go through this. So, yes. Um, but the key is it's open and it's yeah. those baby steps and it's just getting going and, and going out and having a couple of drinks and having some food and starting to feel a little bit normal again I think that's a yeah. super important and, part and, of things and we even you know going into this uh, you know we didn't want to do like a crazy menu change or like bring in all these new things and change what Seoul was before we closed or, or shut down to uh, being open to seating uh, right now we're basically um, just oh he's got a little cocktail action going on here ah, something a little nice. special um but you know we're like I said it, this is a, this is a learning process we're trying to get you know get everybody to uh, just enjoy themselves uh, try these new food items that we do have coming out we have this really awesome uh, seafood food uh, how do you say it again I even made the dish I put no, it foot do it if you do what the feed do what. Fiduwa. And it's good. We took that picture you had. We yes. put online last time. Yeah. See so it. the fiduwas is a is a fantastic dish that's out there. This uh, spinach and quinoa salad has uh, has been flying um, for the last two days. We've been running it, and then Melissa, our bar manager, has been making awesome cocktails as well. So and there's so a lot of new things and old things to come out and enjoy. Melissa, what is this again? Uh, so that is our new cherry limeade margarita. It's good. Yum, yum, I drank yum. two the other day. I might drink more than one. <laughs> it you should happen. You should. You should. <laughs> but thank you. You're welcome. So a lot of cool stuff going on. Now, yep. um, uh, Brett, can you explain to us, dining rooms are going to be open next week? 
Yes. Do you guys have a plan of attack for this? Uh, yes. Um, how many people are you going to be letting in? Are you going to be doing reservations for that as well? Like, so once once again, what we're going to be doing is um, the patio will be set up and we'll be conducting patio service the same way. Now, as of for inside, um, we will be able to see um, within the guidelines of larger parties up to 10. Um, obviously, we're going to have to get creative with our floor plan and how the flow of the restaurant goes. And, you know, how to distance people. I mean, we've talked about um, even, like, people at the bar. So if there's five of you who come in and you all want to sit in a group, well, five of you can sit right next to each other. But that next group that comes in has to be six foot socially distanced from you. So what we're going to do is, and we thought it was kind of funny, we're going to have a stick and be like, all right, if you're this tall, you can't ride here, you know, kind of thing, and, and spread everybody out. Go to Cedar Point. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, you know, like I said, this is going to be a learning game, and, and we're going to make mistakes. Other restaurants are going to make mistakes, and hopefully we get it right and get it right quick, you know, because for us, I mean, this is key for everybody to take this seriously and uh, definitely abide by the guidelines do your best to, you know, control what you can do to keep the public safe. So I very much agree. I mean, uh, you got you got two different types of scenarios. You got, and then there are people from all walks of life. There's sure. people that are saying, "Let's go, let's open, let's let's get back." Yep. And there's people that think, that, "Listen, we got to stay hunkered down." And you know, everyone's opinion is worth respecting. And there's no like necessarily yeah. right or wrong because we just don't know yet. So yeah, I mean, you got to kind of got to work with it. You got to find some balance. Just in here because and do the best we you do, can. just because we do something one way doesn't mean that somebody's doing something right. wrong the other way. And, right. and we're not here to judge. We're here to make money, put out a product that's enjoyable for our clientele, and make sure that people are safe and enjoy themselves. So. Well, that's very good. Yeah. So, if you haven't been here, you better be. Because Soul's got some pretty good stuff. They just launched a whole bunch of new oh, menu yeah. items. Um, they've always been known for one of the best brunches in the city. I've been here a lot. I, this PB and J French toast is still one of those killers for me. I, I, I mean, you don't get, you don't get this bod without eating a couple PB. I mean, that's French a bod toast. right there. I'm telling you, that's man. a bod right there. Hard as a rock. So I'm gonna let Chef go back to work. I'm gonna walk around, and give you a quick little tour of uh, Soul's patio, so everyone can check it out and see what it looks like on a beautiful sunny day. Hell Chef, yeah. hey, keep it COVID. Thank you, brother. All right, man. <laughs> Folks, we're down here at Soul and Don Willoughby, and this is what their beautiful patio looks like. And we are in the gazebo, so you can totally come down here anytime and hang out. There's a couple little small tables on the back side over there. And it is a beautiful, beautiful sunny day in downtown Willoughby. So thank you everybody for uh, joining in. We're going to stop at another location, kind of give you a preview of a bunch of different places we've been. We stopped at Frank and Tony's. We're going to stop over at a couple other places. 